Hey folks, it's Dr. Gersmar with Aspire Natural Health. I wanted to go over another test that we do ask patients to do, explain it, and uh, make sure everything is clear for you. So this test is known as the Adrenocortex Stress Profile. This is from Genova Diagnostics. This is a salivary cortisol test or an adrenal test. Now, a variety of companies make it. We tend to go with Genova. They do very good work. So, Adrenals, right? A lot of people have heard about adrenal fatigue. Uh, most MDs are using a blood test to check for cortisol, and you absolutely can do that. Um, that can obviously tell you if you're in a very serious condition uh, like adrenal failure or Addison's disease or uh, adrenal hyperexcess like Cushing's disease or Cushing syndrome. Uh, that's not what we're looking for because the vast majority of people, when we talk about things like adrenal fatigue um, or HPA axis dysregulation don't have one of those extremes, uh, they're somewhere in the middle with their dysfunction. Now you can look at cortisol levels in the blood, but it's important to understand that cortisol is in a rhythm throughout the day. It should be high in the morning, low in the evening, uh, and it has a rhythm to it. And doing a blood test can only tell you about one point in time. So to truly get a good sense of what's going on, uh, you should have between two and four blood draws all done in one day over the course of a day to tell you. Now most people, probably yourself included, aren't really keen about going back to the lab two to four times and getting two to four needles stuck for that blood. So instead we use a salivary or a saliva cortisol test. Now saliva carries cortisol really, really well. The data and the science uh, and the clinical experience back up that what we see in the saliva most of the time is very representative of what's going on. Now I will tell you there are saliva tests out there that claim to measure other hormones including the sex hormones like estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. Uh, there was even some thought of checking some thyroid hormones and I can say at this time as of 2016 I do not recommend any of those tests. The only hormone that's been solidly shown uh, to be well represented represented in the saliva is cortisol. So that having said, it is much easier to collect several cortisol samples in the course of a day than it is to have blood done. And so often we are recommending a salivary cortisol kit. So this is the kit uh, that you would get for this test. We'll go ahead and open it up or try here. There we go. Go ahead and open it up. Inside we first see the Form. Now, if, I, if you've seen me explain the Genova form before, you can fast forward just a minute, but I will go over it now for people. So, it looks very similar to all the other Genova forms. At the top, you will see my signature. Now, it's important to know that if we've sent this kit to you, you may not have my signature on it. If we have specifically sent the kit to you and it doesn't have my signature, don't worry about it. The company knows that we've sent it to you and it's not going to be a problem. If you've seen me here in the office, I will go ahead and sign here for you. Well then, the second box will have selected the payment options. Uh, in this case, it's gonna be one of two options. It will be the cash pay price or it will be the easy pay. Now, if you haven't heard about easy pay or you need a little refresher, please click on the video understanding Nova's easy pay, all right? Otherwise, we're looking at a cash billing. If easy pay is selected, you will then, the codes down here will also be selected. If cash pay, these codes are not necessary, all right? So my signature at the top, again, not if we've sent it to you. Uh, the option, either cash pay or easy pay. If easy pay, the codes will be selected. Over here, really only one option, so it will be checked off. And it's important to note at the time, at the top, they're asking for the day that you collected the sample. So normally, this all should be filled out for you. The signature, the plan, uh, the codes, and the box. And the only thing that you'll need to do is input the day that you collected the sample. Now on the back, the top you'll put in your name and information. The second box here will be insurance. If you're doing cash pay, you do not need to fill in your insurance. If you're doing easy pay, you do 
need to fill in your insurance, then the payment information, you can use credit card, check, or HSA account. Lastly, at the bottom, sign. So once again, just a quick reminder, on the front, everything should be filled out. The only thing you need to do is fill in the day it was collected. On the back, you put in your personal information. If you're doing easy pay, your insurance information, the payment option, uh, and sign at the bottom. All right, so we move on now to the rest of the kit. We have a little checklist reminder of what you need to do. We have instructions. I do ask that even though you watch this video, you do go ahead and review the instructions, okay? This tells you everything that's going on. Now, there are a couple of drugs that could influence this, and we should have talked about it. If there are any unanswered questions about drugs you're taking, please drop us a line and let us answer that for you. Now, it is a saliva test, so there are a couple quick things to go over. They're saying, for example, if you're having trouble getting enough saliva in your mouth, they're recommending that you can yawn, rub your tongue against the roof of your mouth to get more saliva, right? One hour prior to your collection, don't eat, brush or floss your teeth, use mouthwash, chew gum, or tobacco, okay? You can drink water perfectly fine. All right. So, let's move on now. There are four samples that you're taking over the course of one day. So, the more there are morning, midday, afternoon, and before bed. Okay, for most people that means morning, around lunchtime, around dinner time, and before bed. All right. Now, you're going to have four different tubes, so you'll see next four tubes here one and three more those are obviously for those samples once again uh, morning when you wake up uh, midday or around lunchtime for most people uh, late afternoon or dinner time and then before bed all right so we want to make sure to write your name time and date of collection on there because we don't want to get them confused if you put in you know that morning sample in the evening you're going to get a very different test result so it's important that you mark them correctly so they recommend when you're getting ready to go ahead and collect a sample so again as we've said an hour beforehand so let's say it's lunch time right you eat lunch let's just keep it easy at noon so by 11 o'clock you're not going to eat anything from 11 to noon you're not going to brush or floss your teeth use any mouthwash chew gum or any tobacco but you are welcome to drink water so noon comes around you're going to collect the sample I recommend rinse out your mouth with some water spit out the water and then go ahead and essentially spit or collect some saliva until you've reached the three mil mark which is about halfway up this tube up here is five mils so the three mil mark okay then put the top on make sure it is labeled with your name and the time that the collection was taken all right, you're gonna repeat that four different times. Ideally, we ask that you do it over the course of a day. So when you get up in the morning, you take the first sample, lunchtime, dinner time before bed. We also ask that you try to make that day normal and representative for you. So cortisol is a stress hormone. If you have a crazy stressful day, we expect everything to be elevated and it may be abnormal for you. If you have a crazy non-stressful day, you're spending the day on the beach in a hammock, um, again, that can be non-representative of what you know your day-to-day -day looks like. So we say try to pick an average normal day for yourself, all right? So you collect those four samples, you put them into the freezer to freeze them, so they need to be frozen, and then we're going to ship them off, all right? So we continue on into the box. We see the FedEx uh, mailing bag the bag to go ahead and put those samples into, so you've collected all four of them, you freeze them, then you put them into this bag, and that goes into the FedEx bag as well. Now, you're gonna find the slip and form for FedEx included, so they'll give you a number that you can call and an account number that you can use, or you can take this to one of the FedEx drop-off locations and drop it off there. FedEx can come to your home or your work. There is no charge to you, just so you know, and they don't ask you uh, what it is so you don't have to be embarrassed or feel weird 
about it. All right, the last piece is that these need to be shipped Monday through Friday. All right, so preparation an hour before you're going to collect the samples. No eating, brushing, flossing, teeth, using mouthwash, chewing gum, or tobacco. You collect the samples. They need to go in the freezer to freeze and then call FedEx and come and get it picked up Monday through Friday. So, for example, you decide that Wednesday you're going to collect the sample. You have the kit with you. More or less, you roll out of bed Wednesday morning. You collect a sample. You go about your day, 11 o'clock, let's say, you stop, make sure you're not eating anything, you do drink some water, rinse out your mouth before you collect the sample, collect the sample, same at dinner time, same at bedtime, before you climb under the covers, you go and throw those in the freezer. Get up Thursday morning, uh, make sure again all the vials are labeled, including the time that you collected them, put them in the bag, put them in the FedEx uh, shipping bag, call FedEx and have them come pick it up or drop it off at a FedEx location. Last but not least in this order, please make sure that your form is filled out with all of your information and any money that needs to be enclosed is enclosed. All right, folks, the salivary cortisol test, a very helpful test. which can give us a lot of information on what the status of your adrenals look like, whether they're contributing to things like fatigue, trouble sleeping, many other symptoms. We do recommend it when it's necessary. Um, it is a fairly straightforward test. Uh, just make sure, you know, the hour before you collect the samples and that your day is representative and that you freeze the samples. All right, folks, any questions, any concerns, you please feel welcome to give us a call or send us an email. We're here to help you out. All right. Please get the test done. Let's get a look at the results and see if we can help decode what is going on for you. Until next time, take care.